look it up. Trying to promote the show to her 80 subscribers. Love you deeply though. Well done. Nicely done. Hi everyone, my name is Ellen and here we talk about everything cinema related. So, good place. Virtually the best TV show to ever walk the earth. First of all, let me tell you, I've seen it all. There is nothing that can amaze me anymore except for the human centipede, which really like managed to amaze me, but in, in a bad way. Fuck, man. For a TV show that is so simple, simple in making, simple in story that they're trying to tell, to make me, to actually make me feel something, that speaks volumes. So Michael Schur, the creator of the show, is the mastermind behind The Office, Brooklyn Nine-Nine, some of the Black Mirror episodes. So dude, definitely knows his stuff. And what sets the show apart from everything else is that it presents really important questions, important ideas, even life-changing ideas, eye-opening ideas in such a simple and fun way. It's just such a nice and kind TV show, like a huge bubble of happiness. And I was resembling the bubble of happiness while I was watching it. Now it's gone and back to my old miserable self. But anyway, I think Everyone should watch it. If the world is ending, there is even more reason to watch it, to start watching it. And if you don't, after finishing this video, I'll come to your house and make you do that. So Good Place begins with the main characters, well, dying. But it's a comedy, I promise you, I wasn't wrong about that. And they go to this place called The Good Place, which is like heaven, because they're good people, or so they think. And one character, played by Kristen Bell, She's nothing like the person that the creator of The Good Place describes. So she realizes that there's been a mistake and now she needs to become a good person or she'll be doomed forever. So that's basically the premise of the first season. I'm not gonna spoil anything further because there are just so many twists and turns. Even Game of Thrones with the heads rolling every other episode is nothing compared to this. Without the heads rolling though, because it's a comedy, if you look at some scenes they look pretty cheap, like the visual effects are just so ridiculous sometimes. But this show doesn't need this multicolored, bright, high quality confetti because it moves and attracts the viewer with its content, with its meaning. You know, while I was watching it, I was still on the fences about this because there's just so much you can do in the afterlife. I mean, it's the afterlife where everything is possible, where you can become anyone you want, you have a lot of time to do whatever, and I think no one out of all of us will actually ever agree with this statement. And the creators, they don't push it onto us because they show that you are able to realize that only after experiencing everything that you dreamed about yourself. And that's totally okay. And I like the shows and, and the movies that don't push their agenda onto you like really, really hard. They show what it's like. They show you the meaning of life and how important it is that life actually ends. But they totally understand that people just are not ready to accept it. And again, as I've said, it's completely okay. I learned so much about philosophy while watching the show, and I'm sure that philosophers will not actually find it so entertaining because it is mostly like simple stuff. And I knew a bit about philosophy and moral dilemmas, but here they show this in such an entertaining, such an interesting way. So it helps to fully embrace and feel it, like, literally. You know, maybe there's a more concrete approach. Here, let, let's try this. Oh, God! Michael, what did you do? I made the trolley problem real so we could see how the ethics would actually play out. There are five workers on this track and one over there. Here are the levers to switch the tracks. Make a choice. The, the thing is, I mean, ethically speaking... No time, dude! Make a decision! Well, it's tricky! I mean, on the one hand, if you ascribe to a purely utilitarian world view... You know, the show is about good people, so it motivates you to become a better person yourself. But there is another side to it. They also, and that is even more important, they also show the failure of altruism. So in the third season or somewhere further down the line, 
there are some characters that want to go to the good place, read Heaven, and they're not sure it actually exists, but just in case, they're trying to be a good people. And they're happy to be mocked, they're happy when people walk all over them, because if it makes these people happy, then they are one step closer to the good place. So for me, it shows that no one is really altruistic at heart, we're all bad people, deeply rotten. And the second point that they tackle, which is not shown very much on screen, is that right now world is so complicated that you can buy whatever product, like a face product, and it's been tested on animals, and you already lost points if someone is counting in real life like they do on the show, they count your points and decide whether you get to the good or the bad place. So you unconsciously, without knowing it, make a bad decision and you lose points. Just because you haven't googled whether this company tests something on animals or not. So to me it became quite motivational in terms of that we are all people, we all make mistakes, that's alright, but we all have an ability to change and that is what is shown beautifully on the show. If we surround ourselves with people who make us better, who can help us, or we ourselves start living more consciously with occasional mistakes, of course, that will make us better people. It doesn't work with everyone because some people are just really rotten inside, but that's still a quite helpful thought that makes me not to lose faith in humanity, which I'm losing slowly but this show again it changed my world so i now like understand they can improve and people can improve which which is a really simple thought but you need reminders at least i do in the final season and again no spoilers no real spoilers it becomes really obvious that the afterlife doesn't really matter. And you'll understand what I'm talking about after finishing the show, but the final episode shows us clearly that what happens with disease is way less important of a question than how they can impact those on Earth. So basically, as I understand it, what they tell us is don't stress it, don't worry about the afterlife, don't wait for the afterlife, just live in the here and now. You'll be dead eventually, but it will be fine. We'll never know, maybe in, in a thousand years, that there is actually something out there, so you have to use whatever time you have on Earth to make the most out of it. And you really don't know how much time you have left, and you can't really hope that you will get to, to the afterlife, you will get to the good place instead of a bad place, and you will have all these opportunities, and you will become whoever you wanted to become, so you just have to at least try to become who you wanted to in this life in case we only have one so it's a very it's a burden but it's a very at the same time uplifting thought and probably the best aspect of the show besides all the life lessons that i've mentioned is its humor there is even a special language that they invented um, in order not to use swear words because it is not allowed in the good place, obviously. And these words that they come up with are hilariously insane. <laughs> I even sometimes use it in real life because it's just simply so, so good. Somebody royally forked up. Why can't I say fork? If you're trying to curse, you can't hear. That's bullshit. And the writing is just so fantastic, all of this one-liners, ongoing jokes, references to pop culture. I just love this show. So I really hope that I compelled you to at least start watching it, give it a chance, because I understand that it's kind of a weird TV show, but th that it needs some getting used to, but it's totally worth your time. And I never lie, because I want to get to the good place, which means that I will never get to the good place because my morals are corrupted, because I'm thinking about getting to the good place and this is why I do good things. But anyway, have a nice day and never stop watching great movies and TV shows.